Good evening. <clears throat> Welcome to the June 17th, 2024 meeting of Detroit City Council. Please silence all cell phones. Invocation and <coughs> pledge of allegiance to, will be led tonight by Mr. Bobby Phillips. Please stand. Please bow your heads. Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing us to be here in, in these chambers this evening. Help us and guide us as we make decisions that affect everyone, everyone in our uh, city. Please wrap your arms around our world and please uh, emphasize peace and kindness and, uh, and tranquility. Please forgive us of all of our sins and uh, watch all, over all of our first responders across our great nation here that, that work every day to help help our fellow citizens. And we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mrs. Knight, could you please call the roll? Mr. Pierce? Present. Mrs. Westfall? Yes. Mr. Schilling? Present. Mr. Sievert? Here. Mr. Whidden? Here. Mrs. Snee? Here. Mr. Twiss? Mr. Phillips? Here. Mrs. Marshall. Move to excuse Mrs. Marshall. Second. Second. Motion to excuse Mrs. Marshall by Mr. Schilling, seconded by Mr. <coughs> Whitten. Please call the roll, Mrs. Knight. <laughs> That's okay. It's one less action we have to take. <laughs> Move to excuse Here. Mr. Twist. <laughs> good thing we no, good thing we started with Marshall. There's, there's no excuse for Mr. Twist. <laughs> So this is the vote on excusing uh, Mrs. Marshall. Yes. Mrs. Westfall? Yes. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Sievert? Yes. Mr. Whidden? Yes. Mrs. Snee? Yes. Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Phillips? Yes. Mrs. Marshall is excused. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. President, you should probably just acknowledge that Mr. And Mr. Twist, Twist is here. just walked in at 7:04 uh, <laughs> and, and joined us. Well, you could have read the report, but we, you weren't here, so Mr. Seaver is going to read it. Uh, so we're on to summary of minutes, Mrs. Knight, please, when you are ready. Minutes of Council, June 3, 2024. Committee reports. Community and Economic Development Committee recommended that legislation be prepared regarding submitting applications to the High Department of, of Development uh, for CDBG and community um, allocation program funds related to the Crawford Street Pedestrian Pathway Project and the Hurlinger Park improvements. And then this was discussed. Committee recommended legislation be prepared, authorizing the director to execute the Ohio uh, Department of Development Anti-Displacement and Relocation Assistance Plan. Committee recommended the legislation be prepared, accepting the recommendation of the Troy Planning Commission to accept the final plat of Fox Harbor Subdivision Section 10. Regarding the uh, ELC LLC and Poor Annexation Committee, recommended that three pieces of legislation be presented and approved. Streets and Sidewalks Committee recommended that legislation be prepared uh, for the consent legislation for the ODOT safety improvements to I-75 and State Route 41 interchange. There were comments uh, from the audience regarding the Crawford Street and Hurlinger Park projects. Resolution number R25, 2024, related to the ECL and poor annexation, <coughs> which would be the statement of services, was given first reading and was adopted. Resolution number R26, 2024, related to the ECL and poor annexation. Buffer requirements was given first reading and was adopted. Resolution number R27, 2024, the uh, ECL and poor annexation acceptance was given first reading and was adopted. Resolution number R28, 2024, application for CDBG funds and for the um, Neighborhood Revitalization Program was given first reading and was adopted. Resolution number R2924, a preliminary consent for ODOT related to improvements at State Route 50, State Route 75 and um, State Route 41 was given first reading and was adopted. 
Ordinance Number 022-2024, executing the Ohio Department of Development Resident Residential Anti-Displacement and Relocation Assistance Plan was given first reading and was adopted. Ordinance Number 023-2024, accepting the final plat of Fox Harbor Subdivision Section 10, first reading and adopted. Following various comments, Council adjourned at 8.36 p.m. Move to accept the minutes. Second. <laughs> Motion to accept the minutes by Mr. Whidden, seconded by Mr. Pierce. Mrs. Knight, please call the roll. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Siebert? Yes. Mr. Whidden? Yes. Mrs. Snee? Yes. Mr. Twiss? Yes. Mr. Phillips? Yes. Mr. Pierce? Yes. Mrs. Westfall? Yes. Minutes are approved. Moving on to community committee reports, uh, community partnerships committee. Mr. Siebert's going to sub for Mrs. Marshall tonight. Thank you, Mr. President. On June 10th, the committee met to consider recommending resolution supporting the Ohio Commission for the United States Semiquicentennial America 250-OH. Troy has been approved to become an America 250-Ohio community as such in partnership with the Troy Foundation, the Troy Area Chamber of Commerce, the Troy City Schools, Troy Main Street, Inc., and the Activate Troy Partnership. The city will participate in proposing programs, projects, and events to celebrate the 250th anniversary of the United States and to provide educational opportunities to acknowledge and celebrate the contributions of Ohioans to the nation over the past 250 years and to inspire future leaders to follow in their footsteps. This committee recommends that legislation be prepared approving a resolution supporting the Ohio Commission for the United States Semiquicentennial America 250 OH and authorizing the Director of Public Service and Safety to execute any related documents. Respectfully submitted myself. Mr. Twist and Ms. Marshall as chairwoman. Questions, comments? We will stay with Mr. Peer, or Siebert and have a few reports for finance. Thank you. Uh, we have three reports today, all revolving, uh, revolving loan funds. Uh, on June 10th, this committee met to consider the recommendation of the Loan Review Committee that a new loan of $450,000 be approved from the Small Business Development Revolving Loan Fund to the owner of Harris Jewelers, Inc., for funds to assist with the renovations for the recently purchased building at 1780 West Main Street. This committee recommends that legislation be prepared authorizing the approval of a SBD loan to Harris Jewelers, Inc., based on the terms and recommended based on the terms recommended by the Loan Review Committee, as noted in the detailed report, and the Director of Public Service and Safety be authorized to execute any related documents. This committee further supports emergency legislation so that the loan can be approved and the project proceed without delay. Respectfully submitted, Mr. Schilling, Ms. Westfall, and myself as Chairman. Any questions? No questions? Continue, please. Thank you. The uh, next uh, report will be out of the CDBG uh, Economic Development Revolving Loan Fund uh, for A.M. Scott Distillery. On June 10th, this committee met to consider the recommendation of the Loan Review Committee that a new loan of $150,000 be approved from the CDBG Economic Development Revolving Loan Fund to Anthony Scott and Jessica Nielsen on behalf of AM Scott Distillery, LLC, for funds to finance the purchase of additional restaurant equipment at the location at 9 West Main Street. This committee recommends that legislation be prepared authorizing the approval of a EDR, Economic Development Revolving Loan Fund, loan to AM Scott Distillery, LLC, based upon the terms recommended by the Loan Review Committee and that the Director of Public Service and Safety be authorized to execute any related documents. This committee further supports emergency legislation so that the loan can be approved and the project proceed without delay. Respectfully submitted, Mr. Schilling, Ms. Westfall, and myself as chairman. And the last one? Oh, you want to see if anyone has questions or are we good? They, they looked and all nodded no. Okay, thank you. I, my eyes are bad, I'm old. Um, 
The next one is the subordination of an SBD loan for 107 West Main Street, LLC. On June 10th, this committee met to consider, to consider subordination of the mortgage lien position on an existing loan from the Small Business Development Revolving Loan Fund that was made to 107 West Main LLC for the property improvements located at 107 West Main Street. The subordination has been recommended by the Loan Review Committee. This will allow the owner to secure additional funding from Minster Bank to finish second floor re renovations, the cost of which are higher than initially anticipated. The city's loan will be adequately secured. This does not commit any additional city funds. The committee recommends the legislation be prepared approving the requested mortgage lien subordination for the SBD loan made to 107 West Main LLC and authorizing the Director of Public Service and Safety to execute a subordination agreement. This committee supports emergency legislation so that the subordination process can be completed with both 107 West Main LLC and Minster Bank, uh, and Minster Bank as soon as possible and there is no delay to this project. Respectfully submitted Mr. Schilling, Ms. Westfall, and myself as chairman. Any questions, inquiries on that? I do have a question. The loan is being asked to be altered because they were over their budget or over their expected cost. Is that what you said? <coughs> it, you want to address it? Well, just uh, <coughs> as a general comment, uh, what was indicated to us was that there were some inflationary issues that happened. Um, they are simply asking for another loan, so it followed the exact same process as any other uh, loan application, and uh, uh, that's why uh, we're changing positions so that they could go and get um, bank financing and push our subordination a little lower. Okay. But again, we're sufficiently collateralized uh, with the uh, uh, appraisal of the building as, as well as um, personal guarantees. Thank you. Yeah. I just want to, we're always been second, right? If there's so, bank financing involved, as a, a, they would typically take the first yeah. Uh, position. So, yeah, my understanding from the Loan Review Committee is they're going out to get a new loan to do more improvements, and their bank has requested that we can, that because what would happen when they would have to pay off their first loan when they get that, their new financing. So they're just asking for us to subordinate so we don't jump up to first, and that's why there's no real impact on the city financially, um, which is why we did that. Thank you. We have a oral report from the Walden Ordinance Committee. Mr. Whitten. Thank you, Mr. President. The Ohio Division of Liquor Control has transmitted the notice of an application for a new C1 liquor permit for Family Dollar Stores of Ohio, LLC, doing business as Family Dollar number 32647, located at 924 North Market Street. A C1 permit is defined as beer only in original sealed containers for carry-out carry out only. Um, the Detroit Police Department has not recommended any an objection or hearing for be filed. Any question? Thank you, sir. That takes us to citizen comments. Is there any citizens in the audience, in the audience, audience that would like to comment? This is at a two-minute li limit at this time. Have any to, all right. No, we we'll move on to resolutions. Mrs. Knight, could you please read R30 2024, please? Resolution number R30 2024. Resolution approving the application of Harris Jewelers, Inc. for loan assistance from the Small Business Development Revolving Loan Fund and declaring an emergency. Uh, this is a loan in the amount of $450,000. This is the first reading. Move to suspend. Second. Motion to suspend the readings uh, by Mr. <coughs> Pierce, seconded by Mr. Whitten. Mrs. Knight, please call the roll. Mr. Sievert? Yes. Mr. Whitten? Yes. Mrs. Sneed? Yes. Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Phillips? Yes. Mr. Pierce? Yes. Mrs. Westfall? Yes. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Move to adopt. Second. Second. Motion to adopt by Mr. Sievert, seconded by Mr. Schilling. Mrs. Knight, please call the roll. 
Mr. Whitten? Yes. Mrs. Snee? Yes. Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Phillips? Yes. Mr. Pierce? Yes. Mrs. Westfall? Yes. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Siebert? Yes. Resolution is adopted. Will you please read resolution R31 2024? Resolution number R31 2024. Resolution approving the application of AM Scott Distillery LLC for loan assistance from the CDBG Economic Development Revolving Loan Fund and declaring an emergency. This is a loan in the amount of $150,000 as recommended by the Loan Review Committee. This is the first reading. Move to suspend. Second. Motion suspend by Mr. Pierce, second by Mr. Phillips. Mrs. Knight, please call the roll. Mrs. Snee? Yes. Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Phillips? Yes. Mr. Pierce? Yes. Mrs. Westfall? Yes. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Siebert? Yes. Mr. Whitten? Yes. Move to adopt. Second. Motion to adopt by Mrs. Snee, <coughs> seconded by Mr. Pierce. Knight, please call the roll. Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Phillips? Yes. Mr. Pierce? Yes. Mrs. Westfall? Yes. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Siebert? Yes. Mr. Whitten? Yes. Mrs. Snee? Yes. Resolution is adopted. Mrs. Knight, could you please read R32 2024? Resolution number R32 2024. A resolution of the City of Troy, Ohio, State of Ohio, supporting the Ohio Commission for the United States Semi-Quincentennial America 250-OH. This is the first reading. Move for suspension. Second. <clears throat> Motion for suspension by Mr. Phillips, seconded by Mr. Schilling. Mrs. Knight, please call the roll. Mr. Phillips? Yes. Mr. Pierce? Yes. Mrs. Westfall? Yes. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Siebert? Yes. Mr. Whitten? Yes. Mrs. Snee? Yes. Mr. Twist? Yes. Move to adopt. Second. Move to adopt by Mr. Twist, second by Mr. Pierce. Mrs. Knight, could you please call the roll? Mr. Pierce? Yes. Mrs. Westfall? Yes. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Siebert? Yes. Mr. Whitten? Yes. Mrs. Snee? Yes. Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Phillips? Yes. Resolution is adopted. All right, we have one ordinance tonight. Mrs. Knight, will you please read Ordinance 024 2024? Ordinance number 024 2024. Ordinance submitting, I'm sorry, Ordinance subordinating a mortgage lien for 107 West Main LLC and declaring an emergency. This has been recommended for approval by the Loan Review Committee. This is the first reading. Move Second. Moved to suspend by Mr. Pierce, seconded by Mr. Phillips. Please call the roll, Mrs. Knight. Mrs. Westfall? Yes. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Siebert? Yes. Mr. Whitten? Yes. Mrs. Snee? Yes. Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Phillips? Yes. Mr. Pierce? Yes. Move to adopt. Second. Motion to adopt by Mr. Phillips, seconded by Mr. Pierce. Mrs. Knight, please call the roll. Mr. Schilling? Yes. Mr. Sievert? Yes. Mr. Whitten? Yes. Mrs. Snee? Yes. Mr. Twist? Yes. Mr. Phillips? Yes. Mr. Pierce? Yes. Mrs. Westfall? Yes. Ordinance is adopted. We're breezing right along. Do we have any communications this week? No, sir. Mayor, do you have any comments you would like to make? Just um, that as we get started with the summer, we have a concert Friday night um, on Prouty Plaza. The Cleveland Keys being um, sponsored by the Troy Foundation for their 100th anniversary. That's going to be a lot of fun. There's a dance floor. Um, I thought it was just pianos, but it is a whole band, but two pianos. So sounds like a lot of fun. And then Saturday night is... Uh, bon Jovi tribute band. It is not Bon Jovi himself. He will not be here. <laughs> I know last time I announced that the Beatles were here, it is, it is not Bon Jovi. But, um, At Treasure Island, right? Pardon? Treasure Island. Treasure Island, yes. And food trucks will be there. Um, so we're getting a good start to summer, kicking off. Um, the heat's ramping up. 
hopefully tempers aren't. Yeah. And that's it. Thank you. Director of Public and Service and Safety, Mr. Uh, Pinderton. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Just a couple things. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't mention July 4th holiday, the fact that the offices are closed. I recognize that we have another meeting, so I'm going to give you a, a twofer, a little advance notice, but uh, we do not have any delay for trash and recycling. We always get calls on that, so I want to make sure that I mention that. I did also want to point out in the items of interest, uh, down in the recreation update, uh, the aquatic park opened on Saturday, uh, May 25th. Uh, we've sold, uh, I don't think it's a record number of passes, but uh, quite a few passes. Uh, we have exceeded 1,000 in uh, attendance, uh, and that's not even counting this week. So who <laughs> knows what it will be like this week. Uh, and we have had our top two uh, concession days since the, uh, the pool opened. Uh, I say that just because, you know, we're starting off the season. Sometimes it's a little rainy at first. Sometimes it's a little gloomy. Uh, not so. Uh, we are uh, looking at uh, some preliminary design plans to discuss uh, in the budget process coming up. So we want to keep monitoring the pool this year, uh, make sure it remains viable. And so far it is. That's all I have. Thank you. And we have hired a new concessionaire, right? I, yes, I believe I mentioned that last did you last uh, last meeting along with our fire apprentices, but uh, uh, still there, so it's a good thing. <laughs> Thank you. Law Director, Mr. Kerber. Uh, Mr. President, I don't have anything for you this evening. City Auditor, Mr. Friggy. Mr. Twist, do you have anything? No, no. Mr. Phillips. No, sir, thank you. Pierce. Yes, I want to thank everybody involved in making the Juneteenth celebration a success in Troy. Um, so I know our city staff works on that as well, along with other organizations. And I really appreciate the effort. Mr. Whitten. No, thank you, not tonight. Mr. Schilling. I have nothing this evening. Mrs. Westfall. Nothing. Mrs. Snead. Nothing, thank you. Mr. Schieber. Uh Just to remind people that July 13th, I know we'll have at least two, or maybe two, at least one more meeting, maybe two more meetings between now and then. Sure. The at-large members will be at the Senior Citizen Center at 9 o'clock for our quarterly meeting, and we would certainly invite anybody to come and uh, have an open and candid discussion about our city. Fire, fire and police have any comments? <laughs> Citizens. That makes it short and sweet. Our next meeting will be uh, July 1st, 7 o'clock, right here. Thank you for attending. 